Well, fear and outrage in the San Fernando Valley in a neighborhood after a homeless man brutally attacked a homeowner, sending him to the hospital. It happened in Studio City, right on the victim's property. Our KCAL 9's Joy Benedict is live in Studio City with Joy more on exactly what happened here and how the neighborhood is trying to prevent it from happening again. Yeah, Leslie, neighbors are understandably upset when you hear that someone on your street is attacked by a homeless person, one who was living in your backyard. It is certainly disturbing. We are live right now. We're on Ventura Boulevard in Studio City. You can see the line of businesses here behind me. Up on top of that hill is a line of homes, and in between them is where two homeless men set up camp just a few days ago. It's a picturesque street in Studio City, just yards from Ventura Boulevard. But around back down this small hill on private property, a homeowner was attacked by a homeless man. With a steel um, metal pipe, tried to, I mean, just completely struck him with all his force. The man is Cecilia Giles' husband, and it happened on Friday night. He had a uh, shattered scapula from the force of the of the pole hitting him there. Three broken ribs and then um, a collapsed lung. He had to have a, a chest tube put in. But for this community, this is bigger than one attack. This uh, long driveway is shared between our three homes. Gail says the issue started Wednesday when she and her husband noticed two homeless men moving belongings onto their property. Security video even shows them walking through backyards. So several neighbors called police. Police. Him and his partner had told the police that they were going to relocate and move off of the property. By Friday, Giles husband went to chat with them again, offering to connect them to services. Then one of them just kind of lost his temper and just started yelling and screaming. He was struck from behind. That was when my husband fell to the ground and um, turned. Uh, the other uh, homeless man that was over him, you know, said he was going to mess him up, not in those words. Yelling, shouting, couldn't make out much of the dialogue. Uh, one thing, I did hear the word kill, uh, and then I called 911. Steve Down heard the commotion and called for help, not realizing it was his neighbor who was assaulted. The whole neighborhood was terrified, uh, and it's, it's not just somebody passing through, it's people who are living in the neighborhood right below us. Yes. That fence right there. We could put it on that fence, right? Sunday, neighbors were posting signs because they were told arrests can't be made without them and making flyers with this man's photo. Guile says he is the one who attacked her husband. He was captured on numerous security cameras after the attack. We know that he's still in the area and we hope that, you know, citizens will be on the lookout and find him because, you know, it, it was attempted murder at this point um, that the officers have, have told me. And although she wants this man found, this community wants the city to do more so that no one else is hurt. I have rights also, and I should be able to feel safe in my home and around my home. Absolutely. Now, this particular homeowner was released from the hospital yesterday and is recovering at home. Obviously, if you know the whereabouts of the man that police are looking for, you are urged to contact the police department. Leslie.